One of the best haircuts I've got, bro. Let's Thank go. you, man. All right, you guys, we're here at the newest location, our Bexley location, and we got Mo today. He's going to be featured today in this video. Mo, real quick, before we start the video, the, the haircut tutorial, you put, you gave us a lot of game. How can people follow you? How can people keep up with you? Hey, man, just uh, follow me on Instagram. It's Mo Fantastic. You, you'll be able to follow me on there. Okay, cool, yeah. man. And if you're looking for a new barber, if you're in the Bexley area, if you're in the Tampa Bay area, you want a barber that cares, hit up your boy Mo. You can find him at headlinesbarbers.com or you can go and on my Instagram, there's a link on there. It's my digital business card and you'll be able to book an appointment directly with me. No All problem. Right. There you go, guys. Let's get started with this tutorial. All right, y'all, we got Mo Headlines hey, Barber, y'all, here at Bexley. He about to bless us with a cut. Hey, yes, sir, I'm about to ask my client what he wants to get now. So what you gonna get? You gonna get like, let me see that picture. You got a picture there? All, All right, okay. boom. So you kinda got like a medium high fade, no C cup, you don't want no curve on the bottom, right? Yep. Okay, perfect. cool, cool. Yep. All the way up to the top, blend yep. it into the top. Yes, okay. Sir. You want to take off a little bit from the top? Take a tad off. Yes, sir. Side of it? Yep. Okay. How'd you hear about us, bro? Yeah, so I was uh, actually living uh, back with Okay, okay. You guys were opening up, and I uh, went to some reviews and tried to find one of that one got you guys. What made you want to pick me, like, out of all of them? Yeah, so I saw your name in most reviews, and everybody had good things to say, and I was uh, trying to give it a shot. Sure. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, I'm about to get you right today, so. Yes, sir. And at the end of the cut, I'm gonna give you my information. I'm gonna lock you in. I'm gonna have you um, scan like my business card and it saves directly to your phone. You have a link on your phone to where you can uh, just book an appointment directly with me next time, okay? Perfect, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Oh, was your first time here? That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, That's what's up. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just um, taking off, debulking the hair so I can see what's under it. So I can make sure when I'm doing the skin part, it makes it easier for me to kind of like know what I'm doing. It makes the fade come out even cleaner. It's kind of cutting with your eyes closed, I feel like, when, when you're setting guidelines in, in, in bulky hair. So I'm just debulking the hair right now, kind of like feathering. What I do is with my fades to do like a, a faster and efficient way to do it. I like I flick my wrist enough so it could feather the hair so it's not doing blunt cuts. So I can get a smooth transition, and, and then I don't I don't have to sit there and just really trying to take out lines. Really, at the end of the cut when I'm detailing. Appreciate you letting us film too, man, for the for the barbershop. Of course. So I'm setting my soft guideline right now for my bald part. So when I'm fading, I keep the bottom bulk so I can be able to see the transition. Mm -hmm. So I can be able to see the transition and the the contrast. Yeah, the contrast. The, that's interesting. So you started with a number one, did the fade, yeah, and, the, and now you're doing the... Now I'm doing my, my, my bottom, I call it the bottom fade. So I do my top fade first, and then I do the bottom fade after. Yeah. Now I'm coming in with my bottom fade, no guard open. Just so y'all know, man, they call Mo Turbo Mo in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is part of the name right here. If you're really looking at like kind of like what I do, I don't set no hard guidelines. So I don't. I set myself up for success in the f future. Like when I'm when I'm done with the cut or whatever, I, he's my appointment. But if a walk-in comes in, now I'm I'm kind of giving myself a buffer, like a 10-minute buffer that I can just squeeze somebody in, making sure I can get them done. And I know I got like 15 minutes to get them done before my next appointment. That's cool. So first time here, and uh, you set an appointment. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So now I just come in and I, I, I kind of like, I use my half guard open because it's kind of like my secret to like trying to blend everything in together. Blend my no guard open with my half guard open into my top fade. I kind of close it out to see what it does on the bottom of the fade. And then I'll see kind of like what I need to get done, you know? Yeah. And I always start with the guard open because you don't know what it's going to cut. So you just want to see what it's going to do first before you know closing it out and then now you know what is cutting and what is not and then you know what you got to close on and stuff like that so see now you're starting to get that blurriness right now yeah. once you get that that open it's looking good it's looking good I try to at least finish my fades 10 to 15 minutes into my cut, mm -hmm. so then I have all the rest of the time to do everything else and detail the work. Nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I close the half guard open all the way. I kind of hit my bottom line, see what it does, because sometimes it works good enough that you don't even have to come back in with no guard open or no guard at all. It's kind of giving me that. But, and then it also cleans it up to where when I come in with the no guard or whatever. It's quick. Yeah, and no exactly. lines. Exactly, no lines. I see that's not cutting that part right there. And when I'm doing like medium to high fades, I always keep this a little darker so I can have room to, to fade out. And then also if I got to come back and once I do the lineup, I know what I got to like kind of clean out at the end and I can just clean that tip off real quick. Everything I do is kind of like with the purpose of not trying to make any mistakes and trying to like be safe with it. Yeah. Especially when cutting the client for the first time. Yeah, it's looking great already though. You're in good hands, man. You're in good hands. <laughs> I got the blade kind of like one notch down 
right now, and I'm just like using corner. I'm cornering the fade just to kind of kind of clean up some 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 dark spots, and then I'm just do that all the way around. Now, once I'm done with this bottom part, then I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna clean the top, take off the bottom, and then I go into the top to perfect the top. Beautiful. And then I don't know if y'all noticed, but I'm using my JRLs and I got a gamma blade on it. So I got my gamma fade blade. So it really does a difference when cutting hair. Fish had even asked me to use it and then um, he tried it out. He, he bought the JRLs the next day. So, <laughs> hey man, it does, it does a big difference. You see, it, it's already looking clean, but I want to perfect it. I'm it's already looking like, clean. Kind of going over it a little bit. How much time are we into this cut? Right here. So maybe already 10 minutes? Fit, yeah, 10, 10 minutes, minutes cause we started um, five minutes late. Yup, 10 Guys. minutes already. Look, the fade's almost done already. Yeah, we're 10 minutes in. Now I already know with the top fade, my one and a half guard is gonna be the key, trying to blend the top in, the middle to the top. So now I'm gonna work middle to top, and I'm gonna, gonna clean it up with my one and a half guard, and I'm gonna just like, kind of like feather it up. It's gonna do the purpose that we want, is just to kind of play it safe, and at the same time, it's gonna debulk that darkness in the middle that you see here. They don't call me Mo Fantastic for no reason, man. <laughs> a lot of the times I learned how to do these things when I was in the military because all I did was fades. I couldn't really do no like crazy designs. Why not perfect my fades, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's where these techniques come in and just learning on my own and kind of just learning from my own mistakes. You gotta be quick in the military too. Everything's quick in the military. Everything's quick. I eat quick, I cut quick. <laughs> I sleep quick. I ain't gonna say nothing else. I'm gonna just keep it like that. <laughs> Some things you don't wanna do quick. You, yeah, though. exactly. <laughs> Some things you don't wanna do quick, man. <laughs> now I know there's some spots that's lower, so what I'm gonna do is, I have two ones. I got my red one, I got my black one. My red one cuts closer than my black one. It just, that's what it does. I don't know how, where it does, I just know how that's what it does. So, so I use my red one, because I want to get a, the closer part. I use it to just get into this part right here, to try to blend the middle into the, the side right here. Like I said, I started open first, and look, you already see the progress on the fade already. Sheesh. Now we staying under. Now I'm just close it a little bit more. Ooh, that looks good. And then I'll just go in right here, look. Close right here, boom. Yeah, Mo, you snapping right now. Appreciate that, bro. Kind of like, I just do this first. You use the same trimmer to set the guideline every time? Um, Are yes. like set for that? Yes, so if you see on my station, I have different tools that do different things. So I have each thing I set to do different things. I don't use my lineup trimmer to debulk because it's gonna, when you debulk with one trimmer, it's not gonna cut the same as your lineup trimmer. You want your lineup trimmer to take as less hair as possible so the, the lineup could always become clean, always yeah. clean. I set the, the line, now I'm gonna just feather it up into the fade. I already set myself up for success, so I do not wanna set another line in here to kinda like set myself up for failure. You don't want that. Yeah. So I'm just using my corner of my, of my trimmer to kind of just feather in there into the fade, and boom, then boom. See, so take out that line, real soft, real soft, just soft, look at that. Look, that's where you get that effect right here. Now I just go in, I just take all this off. And I don't know if y'all ever heard of the, the, the raking technique, but I also do this too, so I can rake off some things. I learned that in Korea. A Korean guy did that on me when I was in Korea. I never done that before. But when he did that on me, I was like, wow, what a difference. It's a way to take out lines without even, your blade is gonna cut. Look, your, cut, your blade cuts less when you're going like this, but it cuts a little bit, so that's all you want. You don't want the most of the cut, you want the less of the cut. Well, I've been doing that on my channel for about 20 years, bro. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about <laughs> it's too busy cutting, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Let's use this thing I've never used in my life. You guys know I've never cut in a shop. I've always used these bad boys. I don't use compressors. This is what, your, your second or your third week? Your my uh, third, week. third weekend. Third, third weekend. week ever in a barbershop. Yeah, shop. I think I'm at 200 heads already. 200 and, heads. And, in two weeks, 200 heads, guys. Yeah. That's why they call him Turbo Mo. And he's not from Tampa. Where are you from? So I'm originally from New York. I'm from the Bronx. So my hair, my hair cutting style comes from up there, from up north. But I was living in Georgia because I was in the military, as mm -hmm. a lot of you guys know. So you're new to Tampa. Yeah, I moved to Tampa for headlines. Yeah, let's to go. To come be part of, you know, 245 be part of headlines and just be part of the team. It's definitely a family out here, bro, for sure. We hiring, guys, we hiring. Definitely, if you can make the move, I definitely would highly suggest you come out here in Tampa, because when I tell you, man, the 245 team and uh, the family is really a family. Like, you don't have nothing like this anywhere. We even got my boy Josh coming out here from UK. Yeah. It, it says something. It That's says gonna be something. a movie. That's gonna be a movie. Look, who we got here? We got Christian. What? I cut, <laughs> yeah, man, I, I got availability right after. I'm down. I got you right after. Usually when the sheriff's in town, he's here to collect rent. <laughs> That's actually what I just showed up. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that's a fresh one. Yeah, the flick of the wrist matters. You do not want to set any hard lines because you're going to have to take it out in the long yeah. run. So you're going to take longer than what you really want, you know? So now we're going to do the lineup. Yeah, the trucker hat's on, on the website, guys. Y'all go cop the trucker hat. We appreciate all the support, y'all. Yeah. Now you're doing the lineup. I'm just doing his corners right now. His comb over goes that way, so just cleaning up his corners, making sure it looks good. 
Everybody don't gotta get a blunt hairline. Appreciate that, brother. I told you I was gonna be a barber forever. Yeah, <laughs> oh shit, you told him that. <laughs> yeah, and I said it too. Like people thought, people thought I was coming out here playing, bro. I'm on a mission. My number one mission is just to shoot for the sky, and the sky don't got no limit. You know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do. That we know of, you might hit, you might hit something. Appreciate that. <laughs> My boy said he wants enhancements. He wanted to get some enhancements. Good thing we have 245 no drip. Hey, on the hey, you know, shameless plug. 245. Shameless plug. So then we have, we got the brown one. So for brown hair people, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we only sponsored by one brand in, on this channel, guys. That's our brand. 245 for life. I want it very natural. So I'm just going to apply it like this. Very naturally. Kind of get more on top than the bottom. Boom. He, he's using the, the clutch card invented by Sean Cuts hair. There you go. If you know, you know. <laughs> you cutting the top now? Yeah, I'm gonna cut the top. It's, now I'm gonna blend it's, the. It's fire, bro. I, I'll show you a video in a little bit. Now, what I'm doing right here, I'm just blending the fade into the top. Just kind of perfect it a little bit. So you say you just want a slight bit. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just cut the hair and the angle of the comb over to kind of get that graduation from top to bottom. Now he gets exactly what he wants and it also sits perfectly. I normally, when I, when I do this, sometimes people are scared because they've never done their eyebrows before. So what I do is I pass it on my own eyebrows first. I go like that, look bro, you don't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> I used to put a two on people's eyebrows just because I didn't want to cut too much. Yeah. But then eventually, like, I just found the perfect sweet spot. I that, think it's the that perfect one, sweet that spot. That one open I used to, that's what I used to. At first, it does seem like it's going to take off too much, but it, it's nah, it don't. It don't. It's, it's like, it's perfect, yeah. it's perfect. What I'm doing is now, now that I have the comb over shape, I'm just going to line them up and just use whatever hairs that he got sticking out. You don't want to cut no extra hair, so boom. Using a 245 blow dryer, <laughs> sponsored by 245. <laughs> if you don't got the stickers on yours yet, make sure you do that. You mind if I shape up your eyebrows a little bit? Yeah, go for it. i never seen this before. Where you got this from? This is fire. We got Amazon, I got a, I got a link for you. <laughs> I got to take off the no drip in spots that I don't want it to be, or whatever. What I do is I just put some alcohol on it, because alcohol takes it off. What you do is you put some alcohol. I'll go ahead, I'll take a comb, and then I'll comb it out. So you can have a natural look into the fade. Now you got a natural look, then you go ahead, you razor it, sharp line every time. Uh, when I do eyebrows, I just keep them real natural. I just line up the outsides. Make sure you're not making, giving nobody no McDonald's eyebrows. Yeah, you just want to look groomed, right? Yeah, just groomed. No nobody McDonald's wants eyebrows. No McDonald's eyebrows and no, no female McDonald's ones. arches. Because he ain't a female, so you ain't want to give nobody no, no female eyebrows. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. You got you to gotta show, you gotta show the, the, the legendary. The legendary. Woo! Got it. Only Amazon right so now. So this is only available on Amazon, guys. Only Amazon. We call it the goat clay. Guys, so just so y'all know, any of the links in the description, that shows Mo love, man. That's y'all way of giving Mo a tip. So go ahead and uh, and use those links, man, so Mo can get some love for, for doing this for us. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Now let's get that clay in. Look, I've been using it a lot. Make sure you get it all in the hand. Guys, if you don't know the smell on that clay, it's crazy. Fire. One of the best haircuts I've gotten, bro. Let's oh, thank go. Thank you, man. Is, is it the best haircut in your life? Yeah, your whole probably, life? Yeah. Wow, sure. appreciate that, bro. You know how many times I hear that? It's like, it's amazing to me, bro, for real. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. That's I, why you've already cut 200 heads. I, I, think, <laughs> I think that's why, that's what I, I, that's what I love about this, man. Like, literally, I have people telling me that I've given them the best haircut they've ever had in their life. You know what is yeah. that? In their life. <laughs> it it got to mean something, you know what I mean? It got to mean something. That means you're doing something right, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Is a full haircut. It's not just for the video, guys. This is what I do every single day, every client. I put in all my heart and soul into every single client that sits in my chair. And that's what I feel like is what keeps them bringing them coming back. You know what I mean? That's what you want. You want to keep retention. You want to keep your clients. You don't want them going away. Let's say they're like 30 minutes away, but they're like, damn, I can just get a cut right now. Nah, they're going to think, nah, my, my guy Mo got me. You know what I mean? That's what you want to think about. That consistency, right? You know what you're going to get. Exactly. Let me show you the back real quick. Um, right here, calendar, that's where you book an appointment, in the link. And if you can, shoot me a follow on Instagram so you can see the haircut today. And then that right there is gonna give you a haircut anytime. I would highly suggest you, if you can, book your next appointment today, okay? I got you, bro. All right, appreciate that. And then look, right here. Now, now let me put you in here. I have all my clients jot their data down after the haircut. It's super easy. I get to jot my data down every single day, no problem. I don't gotta go back home and, you know, do this. So boom, I, I lock him in. At least I got his name. Everything else I put in after the cut. That's you. And then if you can, bro, can, if you could scan that, if you could scan that and um, leave me a review today, yeah. that'd be awesome. <laughs>